You are now watching Zach Lesage, the best place to learn about competitive Pokemon TCG. Let's get it! Yo, what's poppin' peeps? Welcome back to the channel, Zach Lesage here. Today we're gonna be covering over a brand new deck, or at least new to many, Scourge VMAX. Now, this card was released in Darkness of Blaze, but it does get a huge boost from Brilliant Stars. In these videos, I will be covering my early deck list. I do want to stress that enough that it is early deck list of cards that I believe are going to be in Brilliant Stars. Do want to give a shout out to Poke Beach for translating these cards so we can come up with some of these deck lists. Um, and what my plan is, is to kind of uh, create these deck profiles, play them on the Shuffle Squad, cover some tabletop gameplay, and really get some early content out. So this list might not necessarily be an absolute slam dunk, it might be missing a card or two, but with my 15 plus years of playing Pokemon, I'm pretty good at getting a good skeleton out of the way. So forgive me if I forget a card, let me know in the comments what you think about the deck, um, but I do think Senescorch VMAX is one of the few fire type decks that comes back with Magma Basin and cards like Kindler. Um, I have seen a lot of success in my playing career with fire type decks, so hopefully that translates well here. And if you like this type of content, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That being said, let's jump into this deck list. So here we have it, the Senescorch VMAX deck list. I've personally seen a lot of success with Senna Scourge VMAX. This, act, this deck actually brought me through the qualifiers for the Players' Cup 2. I eventually switched it up to Pika Rom and I was able to win the whole Players' Cup 2. Um, but Senna Scourge VMAX was a large part of that journey. Um, using its attack, Senna Scourge V has ways to disrupt your opponent's energies, which could be good in this meta game for a lot of reasons. There's a lot of decks that don't necessarily have so many energies that they can work with. Um, so using even just like... Set of Scourge V's first attack to really get around things can be cute. The reason why this deck's coming back is probably the biggest reason why anyone needs to know what's going on, and that's because of Magma Basin. Um, I do want to let everyone know that I do have the link for all of the translations that I've used from the Poke Beach um, Star Birth cards. Uh, Magma Basin is guaranteed released in Brilliant Stars, so once during each player's turn, that player may attach a Fire Energy card from the discard pile to one of their bench fire Pokemon. If a player attached an energy to that Pokemon in any way, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. This allows us to quickly accelerate extra energies and really make sure that things are gonna be working out. So if we are able to get stuff like this to work out, it can work awesome. So it has to be a bench Pokemon, but we do have access to a lot of ways to get our Pokemon to the bench. And that might work out nicely with things such as, um, it might work out things nicely with cross switcher switch, escape rope, stuff like that. Um, so that's really like the big card that's right there, the four of count right beside the 12 energies. Now, the goal is just send a Scorch VMAX, build up a bunch of energies, Magma Base and attach its attack in general, GMAX Centasorm or Centiferno. I think that's what it's called. It's one of those things where it's, I'm the worst with Pokemon names and Pokemon attack names. The Bidoof Babero line allows you to kind of draw more cards. So that's really one of another thing where it's just like drawing cards is obviously going to be incredibly good. Um, the barrel has an ability that we've seen for a while. It's called Efficient Front Teeth in Japanese or the English to Japanese translation. But a lot of us have seen this in Silvalli GX, which has actually seen play with Senna Scourge VMAX before. And it's uh, Octillery from uh, Breakthrough, I believe. So once during your turn, you can draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. So it allows us to kind of always draw some cards throughout the series of the game all that great stuff and uh, really just get set up um, in general. So we could go ahead and use other supporters um, and then draw cards afterwards. So we've seen these strategies before with Senna Scorch and whenever I have the opportunity to go through a deck, I like to spiritually go through things. Um, the Maltrus is another card that we've seen that's guaranteed released in English um, because the Pokemon company did put out a few preview scans. So Maltrus has Inferno Wings, 20 damage plus 70, and if this Pokemon has any damage counters on it, so it does 20 plus 70, that's how you do it. Um, it's not affected by weakness, but for a single energy, I think it's a great attack that you can hit something hard with Inferno Wings and then hit them with uh, with the Senna Scourge VMAX for a lot of damage. So chip damage big attack it's something that we see in the galarian moltres uh hoopa decks surprisingly enough or coincidentally enough that they both play moltres but um this one's very similar to the hoopa in that deck and you're able to do 90 damage chip damage chip damage and you could knock out things like sobble get donks on your opponent lower down the hp of a vmax so it's more senna scorch vmax range and attach an energy and in the background use magma basin or use magma basin on the moltres and then attach an energy in the background we have a Crobat V in here for good measure to draw some more cards. 
We also have access to the Victini V, which can get back some energies. I think that sounds really good. And uh, the reason why you want to get back energies is that you can get them back on a Scorch. Just load up three energies on that Pokemon. Scorch. you could kind of checkmate your opponent in a position where they aren't able to necessarily um, draw enough prize cards to win the game. You get those energies back and you put yourself in a game winning position, especially with bosses, orders, and cross switcher. Luminion V is very similar to Tapu Lele, as we've seen. So let's go ahead and uh, go over that card quickly because not every single person here um, has played Tapu Lele. So Luminion V has an ability, Luminous, uh, Luminous Sign, Luminous Sign? I'm really bad with pronouncing names, okay? If you, <laughs> let me know how it's pronounced in the, I'd say let me know in the comments how it's pronounced, but it's obviously one of those words that you could read. Um, Lumini, Luminous Sign, right? Okay. Uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you can search your deck for a supporter card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Now, while this deck doesn't have access to Welder, as other fire decks have had in the past, it is the type of deck that does have access to Boss's Orders, does have access to Kindler, does have access to Marnie. So we have ways to maybe Marnie our opponent, lower their hand, etc., etc., and put ourselves in a really strong position. So... I think it's pretty cool to add into this deck, and considering we have Ultra Ball and Quick Ball and can search between a Crobat and a Luminion, a lot of decks are going to be switching from two Crobats to one Crobat, one Luminion. So those are really the Pokemon that we have in this deck. I think it works out really well to be a Core and a Scorch deck, build up a bunch of energies, have a lot of draw power, and have Moltres as an attacker. Another card that I've considered adding into this deck is maybe making um, is maybe adding in the Simisir V. Simisir V was um, released in the Start Deck 100 uh, set. We are getting some of those cards in this set, so it's not guaranteed. But Simisir would be pretty cool because for a Fire Energy, it does 20 damage, and you can attach up to two Basic Energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. Um, I thought that the Victini was probably enough. And that I wouldn't necessarily need to choose between Victini or Simisir. I think Victini, we could always pitch cards from our hands, um, maybe with Kindler or maybe with Research and get that stuff back. Speaking about Kindler, that's the first supporter that we're seeing to the left of Professor's Research. Kindler is actually really cool. And again, it's another one of these cards that we do have confirmed in our English set. Um, because again, Pokemon has put out that we will be getting uh, this card for sure. Uh, because it's already printed in English, uh, or at least the English scan exists. So you can use this card only if you discard a fire energy card from your hands. Uh, you have to look at the top seven cards of your deck and put up to two of them into your hands. So that's really where I came up with the strategy of um, kind of thinning your hand down um, and drawing cards with the barrel and then reaching far with uh, Kindler. So you can actually see like upwards of like between your hand, and, like maybe like the top 10, 12 cards of your deck. I think that sounds like a really cool strategy with this deck. Um, I really like that you're able to go um, Kindler, grab some pieces of Cross Switcher and you pitch those fires to so get them for Magma Basin. So Magma Basin seems to work really well with Kindler. Uh, as the name says, we're looking to Kindle, Kindle some kind of strategy. Um, I think that works out research also working incredibly well with the fire energies in this deck so you could pitch a couple in the discard pile get them back with magma basin you can use uh victini to get some energies back as well um and victini on one other thing that i do want to put out if your opponent's active has a lot of energies you can use victini v and hit your opponent for a lot of damage with um its second attack so doing 30 times for each energy attached um working really well between having the ability to attach two energies at once because magma basin and attaching a fire energy and really making things happen another card that i could see in this deck working as i'm looking into it a little bit more is going to be switch i think switch or not switch um air balloon or some kind of free retreating pokemon would be great for a deck like this just so you always have a pivot and you're able to use magma basin a lot of the times i think magma basin is fine to just use in the active spot and we have cross switchers and we have switchy and we have escape rope. Again, I do need to test this deck a little bit more. Very early deck list, but it could be working well. Um, Marnie is a great supporter to be playing because we could go Magma Basin, Marnie our opponent, draw extra cards with the barrel so we could play some disruption based cards. Boss's Orders, again, just going to be a staple. Um, even though we have the cross switchers, we can always grab it with Luminion V out of nowhere and really work to uh, bring up our opponent's Pokemon, taking a big knockout, or bring up a Pokemon to maybe uh, let them stall there for a couple turns while we build up a Scorch in the background. 
Uh, Cross Switcher, like I said, works really well because of Kindler and allows us to kind of uh, bring up our opponent's Pokemon, switch, get the access to the Magma Basin kind of thing, and we might be able to balance between two uh, Senescorch VMAX. Ultra Ball coming back as well in the set, uh, so a reprint allowing us to discard fire energies, allowing us to get out any Pokemon we'd like. Um, so our deck is very fluid. It's no more of this Evo Incense plus Quick Ball. We could use Ultra Ball to search for a Luminion or a Senescorch VMAX. That's something you couldn't do with Evolution Incense. And the discarding aspect works really great to draw more cards with the Barrel, or it works really great to get fire energies in the discard pile. Same thing with Quick Ball. It's very much on the same page. Switch and Escape Rope are great because we do have access to Kindler, so we can differentiate between our Switch line. Again, I wouldn't mind adding an Air Balloon in here somehow. Um, I do think attaching it to a Bibarel could be cool or even a Luminion. So that's something that I might include. However, this deck is incredibly tight with the cross switchers in the deck, and there's not anything that I would instantly change. Like maybe I would kind of research for an Air Balloon, but like reasonably, I think this list looks really good off the bat. Like it's a deck that I'm very happy with how it looks. Um, Choice Belt is a spiritual reprint of Choice Bands, um, a card that we weren't really expecting to see in the set, but um, it's a Pokemon tool so you could attach to one of your Pokemon. Uh, the attacks of this Pokemon this uh, do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon B, which means that it's it's kind of like almost attaching an extra energy when it comes down to it onto the Senna Scorch, and you can hit for a lot of damage relatively quickly because that 40 base damage plus two extra fires is doing 120, you're doing 150, and next turn you could do 190, 230, so you really get into that two-shot metric, and if you if your opponent doesn't really have a lot going on, you could build up enough energies on the Senna Scorch VMAX where you could Oko a VMAX. Um, Magma Base when we already went over, but it's so good at powering up all of our Pokemon, and I think 12 is probably the careful amount of uh, fire energy where you're able to find them, discard them, get them with Magma Basin, and get the deck rolling. However, um, we might be able to cut to 11, add an Air Balloon, and maybe we could even cut like a Research for another Air Balloon. Those are cards that I would consider, but again, it's going to come from a lot more testing with this deck. So overall, I think this looks like a really cool build for an early Senescorch VMAX list. Um, I do look forward to covering more decks like this on the channel, so stay tuned. Let me know in the comments what you think about this one. Um, like I said, I don't always hit them out of the park, and I might be missing a key card here or there. Um, but that's really where I'm going to find from a lot of my testing uh, from the Shuffle Squad on their Shuffle Showdowns and just more as I uh, look into this format. So, quick peek into Brilliant Stars, a deck that I feel really good about. Hopefully you all enjoy Senna Scorch VMAX. The list is in the description, so be sure to check that out. That's what we got going on for this video today, peeps. Hopefully you enjoyed learning a little bit more about Senna Scorch VMAX. Um, I have actually really like Senna Scorch VMAX in general. Hopefully it can hold its own against the metagame because I'd love nothing else but to see Senna Scorch VMAX do well. Um, but we'll see if it can compete with decks like Mew and new control decks and stuff like that. Part of me tells me that Senna Scorch might be a little bit too slow to compete. The other half tells me that Senna Scorch VMAX is a well-rounded deck that seems to hold its own and a lot of the inclusions that I add into this deck are really cute and they might end up working. So stay tuned if I end up getting a chance to cover this stuff for the, sh the Shuffle Squad Showdown. I usually do those Thursdays around 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, follow me on Twitter at ZachLassagePTCG to learn when I'm going live and stuff like all that. And Anyways, it's one of those things I'll let y'all know what's going on here as well. So that being said... Check out the list in the description, play around with it, let me know if there's any changes that you do, subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch up with all y'all later. Peace out and have a great one. I truly appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It means the world to me. And my goal with this channel is to spread my love of the game and knowledge with our entire Pokemon TCG community. If you haven't already, help Signal Boost this video to other Pokemon TCG fans by liking it, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Hopefully we reach our goals really soon. Check out this recommended video and have yourself a great day. Thanks.